Star Fox 64 was a significant piece of my childhood. I had Star Fox 64 when I was a toddler. I had played it a few times and watched my sibling play it multiplayer with friends. I had also played it at my friend Michael's house when I was 7 on his Nintendo 64. The campaign was so rad. I would download Star Fox 64 from the Wii Shop channel on my Wii back in 2008. I was older and was able to actually beat it, which I did. I had also played the multiplayer versus my friend Nico, but it was only the two of us, so it got boring after a few matches. And I also played it briefly on Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It was one of the demos you unlock in the game. The Christmas Eve of 2008 was one of the best Christmases ever. I had gotten a Nintendo DS as well as DS and GBA games to play on the DS. But most importantly I had gotten two GameCube games. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which I previously had until I lost it, and Star Fox Assault. The very next day on the 25th, I popped Star Fox Assault into my GameCube and started the campaign. In the first mission, you're flying an R-Wing through space and Planet Fortuna. It was a solid mission and I had fun. But the real fun began in the second mission. Instead of navigating a vehicle for the entire level, you're on foot and you shoot aliens with guns. I thought it was so gnarly. I was having the time of my life. That mission was one of the highlights of my single player adventures back in the late 2000s. You can also get into a landmaster or use the rocket launchers to target enemy ships in the sky and shoot heat seeking missiles at them. This mission was a blast, but the next mission was one I didn't enjoy as much. In the third mission you have to destroy all the targets scattered around the map within a set amount of time. As embarrassing as it may sound, I was stuck on this mission for a year and a half. When my neighbor Jose was at my house, he tried beating this mission for me but he couldn't. In the summer vacation before middle school, I had popped the game in and was determined to complete this mission. I kept trying and grew more and more frustrated with each attempt. I was getting so close even to the point where I would destroy the last target only seconds after time ran out. But after many attempts and tweaks to my game plan, I finally triumphed. As soon as you destroy the targets, you fight Star Wolf in the sky. This battle is a good one, reminiscent of the battles against Star Wolf back in the Nintendo 64 days. In the next level, you're in a landmaster and on foot and you're going around shooting enemies. It gets exciting when you're on a wing and you're shooting enemies in the sky. That was my favorite part of the mission. Then you hop in the R-Wing for more fighting. In the 5th level you're in an R-Wing. You're going through the asteroids to hunt down Pigma. Just another easy boss and the level wasn't memorable for me. In the 6th level you're in Sauria. You have to destroy all the targets. I guess the planet you play on is related to Star Fox Adventures. A game I played with my neighbor Jose when we were kids. In the 7th level, you're in Planet Corneria. You have to destroy all the targets and you also get to ride on the wing. This was my second favorite level when I was a kid. Unfortunately, after this level, I got stuck and I lost the game shortly after. I would buy it and play it again years later, but I'm done spoiling the campaign. The best part about this game is the multiplayer. On December 26 of 2008, my childhood friends Nick and Alex, the brothers, came to my house. We were hanging out in my room the night before we went on vacation together. After playing the second mission of the campaign, I was hyped to try out the multiplayer. Me, Nick and Alex got together to play the multiplayer and underwent what was possibly the greatest multiplayer experience we had ever shared. We would play all of the maps as I would unlock them. We started with Katina Outpost. We would start on foot but would hurry to the nearest vehicle. If not, we would stock up on weapons. Our preferred weapon of choice was the missile launcher, since when you're on foot you're basically no match for an enemy in an R-Wing or Landmaster, but the missile launcher was your best bet to take those vehicles down. When you're losing miserably, you get a special weapon that instantly kills your enemy with just one shot. 
So obviously that's the best weapon, but nobody wanted it because in order to get it, you would have to be in last place. We would move on to play in other stages. There was Inner Sargasso Hideout, which was good. You can choose to play either on foot or R-Wing. Once you choose how you want to play, you can't switch into other vehicles. Playing on Grey Fox was gnarly too, flying around in R-Wings shooting each other. Besides Katina Outpost, our favorite stages to play on were the Simple Maps. Simple Map 1, 2, and 3. In Simple Map 1 and 2, you can use vehicles, but in the third Simple Map, you can't. Me, Nick, and Alex would hang out so frequently back when we were kids because our parents were friends. So we would play Star Fox Assault's multiplayer every single time we would hang out for a while, and other games too. After about 5-6 to six weeks of playing Star Fox Assault with Nick and Alex, our families had faced a horrific tragedy. Alex was just as good at the game as I was! This fucking asshole had caught up to me in the game, so me and his older brother decided to form a secret alliance against him. I would make up a bullshit rule on how to play the game. The rule was that only I was allowed to kill Nick. Alex was not allowed to kill him. Alex was only allowed to shoot him as long as Nick didn't die. For example, when Nick was in a vehicle, Alex would destroy it but he wouldn't finish Nick off. This happened quite a few times. Alex would blow up Nick's vehicle just for Nick to gun down Alex afterwards. The second time I played with Nick and Alex with this set of rules, Alex had figured out our plan. He told me that he knew that we were teaming up against him and that it wasn't a fair match, but we denied it. After a few sleepovers and times hanging out, Alex had gave us a list of reasons pointing to the fact that we were double teaming him. But instead of admitting to Alex that me and Nick were in a secret alliance, I said, that is final. As punishment for questioning my power, me and Nick will be in a team against you from now on. So me and Nick would officially be in the same team playing against Alex. And the rule where Alex couldn't kill Nick still applied. That was pretty unfair for me to do. Me and Alex were good friends, but we were rivals, always trying to outdo each other. I would get two chances to play the game four players with Nick and Alex, as well as my other childhood friends whose name was also Nick. Me and Nico were in the same class in fourth grade. On the last day of school, my mom picked me up early and she took Nico with us. As I was leaving the class, I said to my classmates and my teacher, Bye, I hope I never have to see you again. And my mom took me home. When we got to my house, I said, School's out for summer. And my friends Nick and Alex arrived right after, as well as my other friend Eduardo. On that day, we were hanging out, and the best part was when we went to my room to play Star Fox Assault together. Four players. Eduardo and Nico would take turns playing. We were playing in both free-for-all and 2v2 matches. We got another chance to play four players back in the summer of 2010, except Eduardo wasn't with us that time. Star Fox Assault is so gnarly. It's my favorite in the Star Fox series. I liked the game so much because I barely had any Nintendo games where you could shoot guns. Also, the multiplayer was so lit. All the three-player and four-player matches I had in that game will forever be cherished. However, the game was met with mixed receptions. Since the GameCube controller isn't good for shooters, people criticize the controls when you're playing on foot. That's because they never tried using the other control schemes that are available. The haters of this game deserve to be assaulted. 